Uh, good morning, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, we're about to start a press conference for AE 911 Truth uh, on September 9th. My name is Ben Asimbeg, I'm a mechanical engineer uh, living here in Victoria, BC, uh, standing here in front of the BC Legislature. I'm about to uh, read you a press uh, release that uh, Richard Gage, AIA, and his group of more than 1,270 architects and engineers uh, will deliver, uh, as well as a petition uh, to the National Press uh, Corps in uh, Washington DC. Gage points to World Trade Center 7, a 47-story building that was not hit by an aircraft, yet collapses in freefall acceleration and in a manner consistent with controlled implosion. Government investigators at the National Institute of Standard and Technology, NIST, have been forced to acknowledge the freefall descent, an indictment fact. After being presented with analysis by AE 911 Truth Petition signers. The facts that AE 911 Truth supporters have uncovered in the course of the examination of the forensic evidence include the following. The Twin Towers suffered total destruction in 10 to 14 seconds in near freefall acceleration, which can only occur as a result of pre-set demolition explosives. More than 100 first responders reported explosions and flashes consistent with preset demolitions. Multi-ton steel sections were ejected 600 feet laterally at 60 miles per hour, a distance and speed consistent with high-pressure explosive detonation. 90,000 tons of concrete and metal decking were pulverized in mid-air, creating the signature dust clouds of controlled demolition. A massive debris field, 1,400 feet in diameter, along with the absence of pancaked floors, indicates a very explosive destruction of each tower. The presence of several tons of molten metal found in the debris is consistent with the extreme temperatures generated by use of thermite, an incendiary used to cut through steel like a hot knife through butter. An international team of scientists found nanothermite nanothermitic composite material in World Trade Center dust samples, providing hard evidence of the presence of advanced energetic materials in the disaster debris. The official FEMA and NIST reports provide insufficient contradictory and fraudulent accounts of the circumstances of the tower's destruction, says Gage. We are therefore calling for a grand jury investigation of NIST officials. The petition that will be submitted to Congress on behalf of Gage calls for a new investigation and has been submitted this week to every government representative in Congress. The petition now contains over 1,270 architects and engineers signers. Altogether, over 10,000 around the world have signed the petition. Thousands of scientists, senior level military, intelligence, government officials, pilots and aviation professionals, firefighters, scholars, university professors, and 9-11 survivors and their family members share AE 9-11 Truth's conclusion. Also see PatriotsQuestion911.com. And today, two new 9-11 Truth groups directly engaged with AE 9-11 Truth have emerged. Scientists for 9-11 Truth and military officers for 9-11 Truth.org. AE 9-11 Truth finds comprise, uh, findings comprise an important update to, the, uh, to their 9-11 Truth Blueprint for Truth, the Architects of Destruction presentation, which is available on their website, ae911truth.org. The documentary presents scientific analysis of the explosive forensic evidence. The 9-11 Truth movement, movement, which Time magazine in 2006 called a mainstream political reality, continues to gain momentum. Thank you for coming, and I hope we can answer some questions now. So, Werner, you're an engineer, and you're an engineer, and, and uh, you must know many other engineers. How many engineers in Victoria would support your position? Publicly, probably very few, but unofficially, a lot of them. They all they all know the facts, and the ones that do look at them they realize that there is far more to the story than what we have, we have been told. So your colleagues, who are engineers, would agree that the official story sounds fishy? They think they would support a new investigation. A new investigation. Yeah. Very few people would be willing to stick out their neck or even sign a petition 
because it's a controversial issue. People get, uh, you know, stapled as being some conspiracy theorists if you don't agree with the official line. But I think uh, in, in their hearts, they know. And the discussions I've had, it's, it's very evident that a lot of people agree with it, but very few people want to participate in, in this sort of public outreach. It is interesting that people both in the United States and in Britain, after the incident of 9-11 and 7-7, yeah. uh, the bombing in the tubes, are asking for open public inquiry into these matters. And the government refused. Why do you think the government, if they are telling us the truth, why they refuse an open inquiry so, uh, to, to, be, to happen? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I think, I think it, it shows you that, the, that our system is broken. I think uh, people's opinions are is not valued by our elected officials. Uh, the mass media helps in that in, by basically any, 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 any person that dissents from the official storyline is labeled and therefore is afraid to speak out.